Okay, so I've got a little uh, uh, brute force cracker for AES encryption. So we're using sort of high value, uh, uh, highly robust AES encryption here. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll uh, encrypt something. And norm, typically we would use a, 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 a passphrase to generate the encryption key. So what we'll do is we'll just encrypt that. So that's what we get. Now what we'll do is that uh, we'll create a brute force on that. So what's going to happen is that we're going to try the keys based on a dictionary, a standard dictionary of words, and we're going to try and break the cipher. What really happens in the program is that an exception is created whenever we use the wrong key most of the time, uh, but sometimes uh, we don't get an exception, and you'll see that possible ones appearing here. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so it just uh, has gone through all the possibilities here, and it should find some contenders, hopefully. There's one, there's another one, and so on. Okay, so it's trying all these words to generate an encryption key, so we'll just stop it there. And we can see here, the ones that it hasn't produced uh, encryption keys for, those are possible contenders for the encryption key. So we have Apples, Argued, Artist, and Ban, all these other ones are not really contenders because they've created an exception. But if we do a very basic analysis on the output uh, from the, uh, the cracked cipher, we can see here that this one here is the is the most probable of all the encryption keys because the other ones are giving us uh, really uh, strange characters. Okay, so we normally do some sort of frequency analysis, some sort of um, uh, content analysis on the output to see which one it was.